Hello, my name is Lisbeth Ortiz and I'm a visual artist living in Houston, Texas. Um, I grew up in Houston, Texas, was uh, raised here by my immigrant parents first generation. I attended um, grade school and middle school, briefly lived in Mexico for six years where I was influenced by the colors and the um, public art in Mexico in my art. It wasn't until I moved for college to New York and lived there for 10 years that that really inspired me to bring it out in my artwork the rich colors that I would see growing up in the marketplace, um, the public art in, along the freeways. Um, it's been a reflection of who I am and the things that make me up. Family was a tight-knit family. We uh, only had a couple of relatives here. The rest lived in Mexico, so we were very, very close. I grew up in a strict Catholic Mexican household, so I wasn't very I wasn't allowed to go out to parties or stay out too late. But that had a, a lot of structure in my upbringing, things that um, I respect and now consider valuable to who I am and the character that it was built and installed in me. Coming from a traditional family, um, we would have traditional Mexican meals, things that kids at school wouldn't um, necessarily know. Um, and it had, you had to find a balance within your social life outside of the home and your family life, uh, which is where the two cultures collided and brought a lot of issues of identity. Um, the learning how to talk English without having such a predominant accent so you could assimilate the culture and, and blend in with others. And also having to explain why it was that you couldn't go out and have a sleepover um, or things like that, again, were foundations to the, to the character that um, that I grew up with and have today. So it, it played, they both played a big role and there are issues that I deal with in my work constantly. Those struggling to keep a balance between um, my background, my present, and my future. The first paintings, I have to say my first painting that I was satisfied with and could call it was in college. My junior year I took my first oil painting class and for the first time I stepped outside of my comfort zone of working only with um, monochromatic blues and incorporated the vivid colors that I was inspired by in my childhood. Um, I would say that 1997 was the first year that I painted a five by four uh, foot painting of a tree that I had, um, a plant. And I started incorporating textures along um, with my painting that was really the beginning of the technique that I now um, have developed where I incorporate different mediums like gels and modeling paste as a foundation and then use oil painting on top. High school, I had the fortune of attending the High School Performing and Visual Arts in Houston, Texas where I was introduced to sev uh, several mediums, welding, printmaking, photography, ceramics. Uh, it was a fortunate experience. From there I knew that the arts were where I wanted to go professionally. I then had the um, great fortune to getting a scholarship to Pratt where I went as a fashion major. The first two years I dedicated uh, to fashion and truly loved the technique and everything to do with fashion except the industry. So I decided to change back to fine arts and found that it was a happier uh, medium for me. I could express myself freely and not be so constrained by the wonders of, you know, somebody going to come and steal my ideas. Um, after going, switching my major and finishing, I was content with the idea of becoming an artist, but still t knew that I had to make a living somehow. So I worked at an advertising agency for a year or so, and then 9-11 an happened. And in order to cope with all the things that were surrounding me and the, what was going on, I went back to my roots and did my first Day of the Dead solo show in a uh, Café de la Artista um, coffee shop in the village. 
and really was able to bring some sense to my own clarity and uh, to my mind and also help the people around me. It was a magical experience and that's when I knew that the bridge um, of using art as art therapy was so strong and powerful. And from that day on, I decided that uh, no matter what I was doing or where I was, art was going to be uh, a life um, passion for me. It really was my lifeline to 